Hello everybody. Well, here we are today. Getting a little stuff back to going. So, uh, yeah. We went, I uh, went yesterday and picked up some Japanese food. Went up and ate with Trevor yesterday and spent a little time with him yesterday evening because time I probably wasn't going to be able to make it back a whole lot for the next few days because we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, here in Little, we got a, one, one, of the, one of the ladies at our church passed, and uh, we got her, her funerals today, so I'm going to be going to that here in a little bit because the choir is going to be singing at her funeral, so y'all know I'm a member of the choir, so I'm going to go and sing. Uh, we got our vacation Bible schools coming up this week. Not this week. We're going to get ready for vacation Bible school this week. And then it'll start next week. That's what it is. So we've got a couple days to go and do some work in the evenings for that. Uh, last year there was nine kids got saved. So y'all keep, keep, keep your prayers out for that. We do appreciate it greatly. Love to see it. It's a good thing. Been having uh, having lots of prayers, and that that's that's been helpful. Uh, we do appreciate it greatly. I look a little tired. I am a little tired, but I did sleep. Don't don't get me wrong. I, I slept. I'm just trying to catch up. So some mornings I wake up, I'm still a little bit groggy looking, I guess. But but we're getting there. I've got another little video I'm going to make today. I don't know exactly how this one's going to go yet, but I know a lot of people like to see this stuff. This is a recoil starter. Oh, and the tripod has come in. Y'all see how much better this one moves? It's a fluid dampened tripod. I appreciate this tripod. It's really nice. Thank you. Oh, this is a 272. It has an aftermarket pull start cover. The fella that owns it brought it, and he wanted me to fire it up. And the second pull, it pulled the rope out of it, so he left it with me. Then I fix it. It's been sitting there for a little while on the floor. Obviously, I hadn't had a chance to do much, so nothing's been fixed. I was sitting there looking. I, I don't have a lot of time today. So I said, well, that's perfect. Let's just go on and do this thing. So y'all get to see uh, putting pull rope in, maybe spring. I don't know. I don't know what whether we're going to use this cover or the new the the old cover because I don't know what's wrong with the old cover, but we're going to check it out here in just a minute. We'll find out. Thing, the one that was on it was grinding into the flywheel. Apparently, oh, this one's broke. It broke the guts. It busted all the guts in there. Well, the spring ain't working either. I think I'm just going to put a rope back in this one for now. Because all I have to do is put the rope in it. That, that thing moves so nice. Well... You know what? Let's go in this one and see what's in here. 
we might be able to take the stuff out of the other one and fix this one, but I don't know. Okay, well, it looks like the spring is in there. This is what happened to it. It broke the whole back off of it. They tried to, they tried to glue it back in there, but it didn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Usually if you're gonna get it to stay in there, you have to put some type of epoxy and usually what I do is I use the soldering iron and weld it back and then, then use epoxy over top of it or whatever. I'm going to try to blow a little bit of this goop out of here right quick. There we go. That looks better. Well, I guess let's just see what happens. We're obviously not going to use the rope that come out of the other one because it broke to start with. Well, if it broke to start with, it probably broke again, right? Give this spring out right here just a little bit of it almost acts like it needs a little bit of twist now. But it grabs. Let's see what happens. All right, all right, all right, we got some frame. This is the string that come out of it. Now, it does not appear that it was ever tied in a knot. Now, how in the world? I, I don't even know. I don't even know, but we're not going to use it, sorry, I ain't going to do it, it come out the first time and ain't going back in, now if we were out in the woods or something trying to cut wood and the rug pulled out, would I put it back in there, yep, I would. We ain't out in the woods, and I ain't trying to get wood cut, so. If you heat the end of this up and you squeeze it with your fingers, it burns if you're not used to it, so. I like to say that for, I have had some people tell me before that they done that and they burnt the fingers, and it's, it's, if you ain't used to it and you don't have fingers that are accustomed to really hot stuff, it does burn. And it, it burns really bad sometimes. Like that, that actually burnt right there. I mean, I could feel that pretty good. Well, the handle's a little bigger. So use, I'm going to use the OEM handle, y'all. I mean, yeah, that one looks new and whatever, but this is mainly an OEM saw. The only thing it won't be now is the, the spindle. I 
I can get this to cooperate and go through there. This is the right size string, so it's a little bit big. It fits in there a decent, a decent rate. Put this in here. Put a knot in there. If y'all can see how nice that that camera sweeps, that's something else. Our other old tripod was just it was just beat to death. Y'all know I've if you've been watching for any amount of time, y'all know I've I bodged up two tripods, three or four or five. Some of my first tripods were homemade jobs that I just made out of whatever I could find. Oh. All right, we got that in there. We're going to slide this up through here. Don't forget to put that up through there. Don't run it back to itself because then you tighten it off. There we go. Now let's put it up through here. We're going to tie a, go around and back up. It makes a really large knot. Kind of make a figure eight and then tuck it. We get that done. Some of y'all know the drill. There's a little notch. Put it in there and start spinning it. One, two, three, four is usually a good starting point. You want to untangle your string. Alright, four leaves us a little bit hanging out, so we're going to go five. Six. See how that does. That feels pretty good. And that knot should be plenty clear from these things. Y'all want to see how much is going on in there? See if I can show this to you. See that shiny spot? That's a rut wore in the, in the flywheel. The old two series saws, they did have some issues with the uh, with the crank recoil. They they weren't always exactly right. And I've run across some that I had to grind off. All kinds of different stuff. So, well, you know. Here, let's tilt that down just a hair. I'm doing now is taking these screws out. You can set them against the table, start screwing on them because they got little recesses so that they lock in the cover. See your threads only on the first part. Yeah, that locks it down in there. And you get them out. If you can see, this is raised up. See how it falls down off the table? All right, so you set the screw up there. And you just put light pressure down on it. And just start turning it. And it'll start screwing back out of the cover. See this one here? See that don't it don't fall out. Just a little pressure. Start twisting. And screw it right out of there. Hey 
They put blue grease in there. I mean, it, it worked. Just the rope come out for whatever reason. I don't know exactly why, but it did. But what we're going to do is just, we're just going to simply put the, we're going to put the OEM one back on it. This is a pretty nice saw. The sticker's in fair shape. So, and all you do is just put it in there and screw it down until the threads drop down in there. You'll, if you watch, you'll see it drop. See? That's all there are to it. Shoot it across the room here in a minute. Probably. Yep. This wasn't one I had to pull the spring out of, so it's obviously not going to be quite as interesting, but I always make sure these dogs are clean and free whenever you. Go to put it back on. If they're not, shoot a little, shoot a little penetrating oil right here on the pivot points. And that'll help lube it up. Right. And get ready to put this thing back on. Pull your rope out. Set it down in there. And that's pull your rope out when you let your rope off. You're pushing down on it, and it'll it'll usually open the dogs up and let the spindle go down inside the dog. So that's the way we do the old mics and everything else. The old mics, if you don't do that, sometimes when you bolt it down, if you just set it on there and bolt it down, you'll break the dogs off because it'll get bound up in them and stuff like that. So you got to be careful. We'll see if she'll fire up here in a minute. It's been sitting here for a few days. <laughs> been sitting here a couple months. All right, that looks like it'll work. So let's move you back a little bit. This one doesn't have a decomp. I thought all the two seventy twos did, but this one don't. I'll give him a holler later on to him it's done. I'm not going to today because, like I said earlier, I've got to go here in a little bit. So I'm just trying to knock out a couple of things. I might wear my bike brace. My bike's hurting a little bit. But that's what I wanted to get done. The other one, the spindle broke. I don't really see no point in trying to trying to save that. I'm not going to try to save it. I don't think you can change the 
centerpiece, I'm probably just going to chuck it. I'm probably just going to chuck it. Otherwise, we'll be trying to fix it. Well, y'all know how it goes. Some of the old mics and stuff, we do fix some of them on the old mics because some of those you cannot get anymore. So, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not going to. Alright. Alright y'all don't forget in the description below the video there's a link to our Facebook page called Hopper Nation. And there'll be a link to our apparel store if you want to go check out some cool bell hopper merchandise or some Alkisol stuff. We still yet haven't got to the wild thing stuff, but that's coming. I want to get it done before October for Sawfest, so uh, I need to get up with Indiana and, and see if we can't do something and get because uh, he he Indiana Doug makes the graphics and Alyssa goes on the thing and, and makes the the shirts and stuff happen because I don't I don't I don't get into that I let them do that I just take the pictures and make the saws. But all right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing here. And maybe try to do another thing or two right quick before I have to go. So uh, might get some of that videoed. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for people who come, like, share, subscribe. Uh, like I said, check out them links below. Come see us over on Facebook and stuff like that. We appreciate y'all. Keep your prayers up. We'll keep praying for y'all. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. God bless. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. Bill Hopper out.